welcome back and in this tutorial I am gonna teach you how to change the table name how to insert a particular information from table and how to find a particular information from table okay so let us start uh, just connect SQL server okay Just go to the new query. First, I write what I am doing. I am just in this tutorial. I am changing name of table first. Okay, and then uh, insert particular information from table. The third one is find particular information. Find particular information from TA. Okay, uh, we're gonna be doing these three work today. It is just for remember. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna be create a database. Database. Uh, I'm gonna be name the database of database is employee data. Okay, I just execute it and execute it. Employee data is already exist. Uh, just change the name of database. He's saying that employee data look data has already available yes the employee data has been available already so we have to change our database name so we just change the name of right employee database okay we just execute it look complete successfully just go to there and select employee database here is the database and now i am going to create a table create i'm going to creating a table create table and write the name of table employee in or mission okay and give the parameters parameters integer id is in integer okay comma just name the id of his employee employee ID easy to remember so name bar chart set the range okay now i'm using third parameter that is salary okay integer okay. now first just execute it command execute or now check first select static from employee information okay this executed and look we have a three columns employee id employee name and employee salary there's a no data available yet so first uh, what i'm gonna be doing i am just changing the name of table look work uh, not a big deal just go to just write rp underscore and rename okay rp underscore sorry P underscore name. Just, just just look the uh, the name uh, the color of the name has R P underscore has been changed. Okay. After that, write the name of table that you have created. Employ information. Okay. There's a mistake. Uh, I told you what's the mistake. And write uh, just put it into single commas okay employee information employee information after that uh, put the comma here and write the new name that you want to give Lo I am giving MPLY employee information 
okay so i just change the name of all it could be also in single commas okay so just use this and execute okay our database name has been changed just check here go to the just refresh it first okay just go to the database just go to the database employee database here we have a table and we have a table of employee information if you want to look employee information one we have created the table table name is employee information look look here this is the table name employee information but i just change the name of table okay so now i am going to be inserting values in table insert into employee information just refresh it first refresh it okay insert into employee information one values the values I'm going to be giving here that is uh, one comma name just I'm giving the name here no one no one and giving the salary okay salary sorry twelve thousand okay just execute it and look out look one row has been affected and there is an uh, there is a line that has been showing here it's a not a big deal our database has been working look uh, it has also available a table name uh, it is uh, not showing because uh, our the our previous name of table has been set that's why he's not showing the name of database but it's not a big deal so you can write easily and uh, it must have work now I'm gonna be insert and in another row now I am what I'm doing I'm just doing here that if you want to add a particular information in a table that means that if you want to add only employee id and name you don't want to add a salary in a table so how can you do it just write insert into employee information as it is after that write oh open just write open bracket close bracket and write here emp so mp id okay comma name okay give the parameters that you want to add in a table after that write values is it is as it is okay and uh, sorry i remove the close bracket okay and then write here employee id 2 and comma name okay, okay. just execute it executed look affected just 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 go to and check employee information one okay it's not a big deal that uh, is showing a line red line uh, it is still working that uh, it is not a it is it is it is not a problem uh, <coughs> look our two other uh, look our salary is null that we doesn't add here look we just add, want to add an employee id and name because uh, the, uh, the particular employee uh, li uh, the particular employee is uh, in interny so that uh, there is no salary so we use n automatically null come here comes here okay uh, it is a particular it is uh, our this is our second task 
that we done insert a particular information add from table if you want to add any particular information from table so how to insert and the last thing there is find the particular information that if you want to find a particular information from table what it means that if you want to find only employee id so right select and right here e m p employee e m p i d right e m p i d okay that i first i want to find the employee id only from table Okay, it shows the error, but it is not an error. Look, we want to show only the employee ID, so it is look like this. Okay, the red line basically shows that are uh, the our first name of table that we have given. Look information. It has been set to the this employee ID, this name, and this salary and from this table we just change the name here of employee information so the our previous work previous database and table has been set to employee information we just name change the name of um, table but the parameters employee id employee name employee salary is set to the employee information but you change the name of information in table inform employee information to employee information one you can use the parameters of previous uh, table that you just change the name of that table it is not a big deal it is also work now if, if i want to want to give up name in a table so it's not a big deal just write name and write from employee information one okay execute the look Noman and Ali okay if you want to find uh, uh, all uh, data so just write select static from employee information select static from the employee information one okay uh, you now know about the query very well okay and if you want to find a raw one so what is the procedure of finding a raw one look just write static from employee information one okay where where id equals to one i have already told you in the last lectures look wait a minute sorry we use name of employee id sorry it's my mistake just select it and execute it look an id one the name is no one and salary is twelve thousand and if you want to find only employee id and employee one you don't want to find you don't want to look salary from table so just write here select select sorry no don't do select emp id emp id comma write the comma and write the name how many parameters you find want to find in a table it's up to you just write here all the parameters uh, all the parameters of table employee id after that comma and after that name and salary uh, if you want to find the salary also to just write the salary i don't want to find a salary i just want to find two <coughs> columns in a particular table employee id and name so write static after the right from emp information one okay Just select it and execute it. Okay, look. Our employee ID, employee name hey, are the output here. Here is the output. Okay, so today we're gonna be learn how to change the table name, how to insert a particular information in a table, and how to find a particular information. Uh, just practice it and uh, it is not uh, it if you shows the error like this it is not a big deal so look i just uh, work for 
previous table that I have been uh, created the name of table employee information I work like this I work on it look I, uh, I select I select the query here look select static from employee information my pre previous table name is this just I executed what is doing here look what is showing here is telling about invalid name object name employee version that means that you set the name of employee name employee information to employee information one but that means that there's a no table of employee information has been available so it is not a big deal that if you shows the uh, red line under your table name it sh must work look okay so that's all for today thank you very much